Hey guys, it's Trevor with High Desert Tactical at SHOT Show 2016. I'm at the Target Tracker, I guess this booth corner yeah, area. In the next section. And like we got this really handsome fella. It looks like he's been kind of beat up a little bit. I like the salmon colored shirt. But who am I with here, Wayne? I'm uh, Wayne McGregor with Target Tracker Moving Target Systems Business Development Group. And we've been out here for the SHOT Show. We were running at Range Day yesterday. It's our first year at the show. Been on a waiting list for about five years. But we're defining realistic firearms training. If your training does not give you a threat situation in a realistic format, you're only practicing. So you gotta come down and check us out. If you're at the show, come by, enter to win a Target Tracker, or get a hold of us at targettracker.net. I do have a couple questions about this. Well, obviously this is for tactical applications yes, and sir. home protection, things like that. If you were wanting to get into like some people that wanted to do hunting scenarios, could you not take a person mannequin you could make like a dummy of like an animal running oh, and, and teach we have, we have a larger version and it's designed exactly for that i'll show you in our brochure but you can put uh deer foam targets on it steel targets wood targets you can shoot bow arrow crossbow at the archery targets and then you can shoot long range on it as well um, we we guarantee it to 200 yards because most people can't see it after that but it actually will go out to 400 yards. So you can do some long distance training. If you look in our shirts, we've got the deer and we've got the mannequin up here. So we tactically hunt, right? There you go. So if you look at it from a lot of different perspectives, you know, if you're the guy that's going to go out there to Africa and do a big game hunt, make sure you can actually hit something before you go or it might end up wasting a lot of your money. That is very cool. One other question about this, like what's the lifespan? It's obviously battery powered. Right. So how long how long of a use can you get out of the It'll unit? It'll run nonstop, wide open for four hours. That's how we set them at the factory. It, they, it's actually a regenerative circuit, so you can run it back and forth in different motions. Whenever it's slowing down or whenever it's going in reverse, it's charging the batteries. You can run it eight, 10, 12 hours a day. So it's a little bit like a tactical Yaris. You know how you, or not, you're a Prius, it's like a Prius. America, yeah, Pri made, made, made in America. America. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Wayne. Wayne, I really appreciate you taking the time and showing us this. We'll, uh, I'm hoping that you'll get a little footage from this. Absolutely, that'd be great. And, uh, you know, we can go through the unit. This is the mini unit. It's designed for active shoot houses, indoor and outdoor. Um, and I'll show you how the suspension and everything works. Okay. There, we'll give you a little bit of suspension usage for the mini unit. Our larger unit, which is actually almost uh, it comes out to about here and it's about 44 inches wide. It can handle 300 pounds of payload capacity and it can handle a 13 inch ramp on two wheels. So you can literally drive this through a cut cornfield wide open and not have an issue. Awesome. Or very, very rough terrain. Sweet. All right. The controls are super easy. We like to go by the Jeff Foxworthy method. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Right, left, forward, reverse. That's it, you set the speed by how, how hard you pull the trigger. We keep all of our systems very easy. These are foam wheels, they can be shot, you're not gonna hurt anything. And if you don't keep things simple, we're not in the business to have people work on our equipment. We're in the business to have them train and learn how to use their firearms, bows, weapons, or what have you, to the best of their ability. I also would say that it, it looks like it's a fairly modular system, so if there was any sort of failure, there is a way to repair the, it. The most expensive part on here is $135 shipped direct to your house. We've partnered with all the companies so you can buy any replacement part online with the exception of this part and this part and it's molded at our factory. How fast does a sucker go? Zero to nine miles an hour. It's pretty fast. And if you're really a, For like a person a, moving. If, if you're like a tech junkie, you can play around with the sprockets and the gearing a little bit and get it to do about 35. Very cool. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Thank you.